Hello everyone, we're here with the daily horoscope slash weather forecast for the collective. And what we're seeing is that we have Venus and Virgo, for those of you who were not here yesterday. It is a beautiful time to beautify yourself in a makeover or your home or your surroundings or even your work environment in uh, ways that are very conservative, very useful. It's a great time for sorting through your closet and just choosing the most the favorite clothes that you have. If you're getting a makeover, keep it very simple, very elegant. Choose good quality clothing, beautiful fabrics, rich colors, and you will look fantastic with any speech, with any interview that you are approaching. What you're really going for here is to look very businesslike and have your clothes enhance you, not you enhance your clothes. So for those of you who are uh, Leo's, happy birthday, Leo. It your season the Leo season is one of jolly uh, you know just it's the entertainment season it's the summer it's the essence of the Sun card in the tarot deck it's the happiest season of the year it's time to make a little love do a little dance get down tonight have a party give a party attend a party uh, meet someone who you could marry in a couple of years make love uh, and also for those of you who are working or want to do something of a creative nature, whether it is a child of your mind in the way of a project or a creation, or the child of your body, it is your season. It's a beautiful time to get pregnant, and the children that we have right now are often just jovial, delightful people. So we also have the energy that is, I'm going to reiterate from yesterday, do not under any circumstances for the foreseeable future, say anything in a work environment, say anything to a person who is has the power to hurt you or to fire you or someone who even is at a distance in your workplace that could make a decision with the stroke of a pen to lay you off. What I'm seeing, the advice that I have right now is when you are at work, keep your head down, your mouth closed, do your work, don't share your escapades on the weekends with friends, don't tell any stories out of school, just don't do it because it's a very time, it's a very volatile time in um, the work life of many of us due to the circumstances of the world. A lot of companies are making cutbacks and the astrological energy says, whatever you do, don't talk to authority figures about anything, but hey, you know, this is what's going on with the project. Just do your work. <laughs> Stay in your own lane. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing there. Right now, for those of you who have a dream interpretation, a book by your bedstand. You are probably enjoying a lot of lucid dreaming. It's a very good time to write your dreams down right now for creative people, people who are musicians, actors, anybody who's in the public eye with a creative uh, endeavor. It's a very, very good time to take notes because your creative ideas and dreams now can actually come to fruition later. When we look at the energy of change. There's a lot of radical change that is not very well planned. So take it in stride. There's nothing you can do about it. What we are seeing is that there's an extra volatility in all financial kinds of markets. With Uranus and Taurus, that's a classic sort of like banking industry. It's a Hierophant. It's large corporations. It's a time of dramatic change. So if you are involved in earning money with a big corporation, if you are involved in anything that is banking oriented, expect, and we all have bank accounts, right, for the most part, expect rapid changes and be conservative watch your money and don't do anything off the wall because it could come back to haunt you uh, we do see the beautiful beautiful energy of Jupiter in Pisces right now Pisces loves Jupiter there it's a co-ruler of Pisces it's a very nice time it's a very benefic time in which to travel if you can if you can travel it looks like your travels will be very lovely very present any kind of vacation around 
beautiful water you know waterfront vacations are very special at this time but for most of you you know the day-to-day -day is going to go pretty well if you use your common sense and I will leave the the transit for the day at that it's sort of like don't do anything dumb your mother would have told you that don't speak uh, about your personal life in your business arena and whatever you do create value by the choices you make by choosing quality over quantity. So let's look and see what the astrological forecast and how it will tie in with the tarot today. So I'm gonna take that and put it right there so I have the table to myself, okay. So would you like to see the table shot? Tell me in the comments below. Do you like the table shot for the card reading? Or would you rather see me present each card individually? I'm gonna give you the table shot for now and you tell me in the comments, okay? So there we go, here we go, we have the overall energy. The Virgo Venus energy is all about cleaning up, tidying up, and being productive, okay. So let's look and see what the energy is right now for our beautiful collective in terms of what the Tarot has to offer messages for, for all of us spirit. How can we best work through the day today? What's our smartest advice for the best day possible? Okay, we have two cards. We have the five of cups reversed, four of cups reversed. Well, I like that. The four of cups reversed means that you are not bored today. If you are bored, stop being bored, go get busy. <laughs> and then we also see it is crossed by the Eight of Swords. So what we're seeing is that many of you feel immobilized or unhappy about some sort of relationship or emotional situation. You're not really taking action right now, so let's see what is causing this issue. What is causing the issue in this relationship at this time? The Three of Cups clarified or, and with the Ten of Pentacles. So for those of you who are married, it looks as though, and for those of you who desire marriage, what we're seeing is it is a time to break bread, have fun, enjoy each other, not take life so seriously. It's not really a perfect day for a, a talk about a tough subject. I would say break bread, enjoy a beautiful meal, put something extra nice on the dinner table tonight for yourself. Uh, even things like buying flowers or cutting a rose off of the rose bush outside, if you have one, is a beautiful way to add value to the day. Again, it's not a big day for making big, finite decisions. The Two of Cups, beautiful energy here. It really speaks to the fact that, you know, enjoy those you are close to. Invest in your personal relationships right now. Stay out of conflict. Makes sense right every day of the week. All right, the Three of Wands, beautiful. Many of you will be given a beautiful choice today. The Three of Wands energy means that you have manifested something and that you're bringing it in. It's not time quite yet to act upon the manifestation. You're waiting for the ships to arrive in the harbor. They are on their way, beautiful energy. Let's see what's happening when those ships arrive. And again, this is a daily reading, the star card. That is a card of healing. So somebody's getting their pharmacy, their pharmacy order delivered to their front door. And I say that jokingly, but I'm not joking. It actually could happen on the mundane level. Okay. So the star card is right now, you are very much looking good, being beautiful, being your beautiful self, allowing, allowing healing, kindness and your best self to show at this time you are shining brightly like a star for many of you you may actually attract a new job a new lover the star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true and that's anything you love so you have a beautiful energy here that is supportive today we see the eight of wands a great day for you to plan and possibly with the Ten of Coins, book a celebration, book a vacation. Airfare is favored today. 
in terms of making a purchase, getting a good deal, going to a destination that is quite fun. Aries, it's Sagittarius energy. The star card is Aquarius energy. The three of wands is Aries energy. The three of cups reverse though says, or four of cups reverse says that, you know, just get out of your head. Don't focus on anything but positive today. The page of pentacles, making plans possibly even with a child. Uh, for those of you who are getting ready to send your children off to school, um, purchase things early. The prices will be better than if you wait till the last minute. Let's see what we have for Ace of Wands. So Spirit is also recommending that you take action. Uh, do things early. Be in front of the curve. Ace of Wands is, you know, really like getting out there, throwing caution to the winds. Do the things you need to do. Have confidence about what you do today, what you purchase today, and what you invest in. And it should be very geared towards your own happiness and well-being. Show up for work. Do your work. Go home. Knight of Pentacles. Your work life today will be very productive. You will move very slowly, but very methodically through the things that you need to do to earn money today. I love this reading for you. It is absolutely a beautiful day in the neighborhood, as, as Mr. Rogers would have said years ago. I want to wish you the best day possible. Let me know how the day went. Feedback, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.